<laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Well, there was this one night. <laughs> 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 oh, I missed! <laughs> Spice down again. Hi, we're back for months here, now back to Spice Month there. Joyce has got tennis, Mark. You got the tennis head? They are, aye, uh, we're getting up, aye. Uh. <laughs> We're just getting that stage there where it gets close to the front. Them boys all had to watch, you know. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, not rock and yet. In the near right field, that's fine. I'll move out there. <laughs> Snapchat with us out of the picture of the GoPro and she says uh, you are the superstars of contracting. <laughs> Maybe 
it's almost real lumpy, you know, and you'll see the lumps through, you know. See the cameras on me. Now that he was the first load. Couldn't believe the pace he put that first load on. Not long I found the thinner. Just nicely topped out. It's the simple things in life that make you smile. That's the new chief. Davy was the man back in the day. Davy could handle a harvester, hey. He just knew the limit of her. And an old tricky spot, you know, an old wet place where a harvester nearly slide, like a cool hand, a real cool hand. And there was a guy, Buckrake, called Jason. And when I was there, this stage he had done a decade of Buckrake in like. I think the first joke he ever Buckrake left, he told me, a no cab. <laughs> he said he used to cruise about whenever the, he was going down the road with the flies, put a crash helmet on, so he wouldn't get all the flies. But anyway, uh, I've never seen anybody as, as cool well. I've seen two or three guys that, I've seen a lot of Buckrake men, like, I've seen two or three guys, and you can just tell. They would be at Jason's level. And the way you know a good bug rank man, you know the flicking. Well, there's guys that when they're going up the pit, for every push, they're like. Tch, 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 tch. And if I was driving, that's exactly what I would do because I'm a rookie. But the best, the creme de la creme, when they're going up the pit, the pit, it's like one flick, two flick, three, it's gone. And like Jason, every time I couldn't believe it. I, I just got into the habit of watching him. 
90% of the time, when I come into the yard, he'd be sitting, waiting for me. And I'd watch him emerge after I'd dump the load. And I was basically out of sight before I seen that shovel move. And every time I come in, the load was gone. The silent was looking perfect. It just was unreal. Back then, that was 414s, 416 ACBs. Uh, the first fold out grip uh, that I'd ever seen. This time last year at Cackle Bay, we were lined up in the big uh, Balmore show by. You're not working all night last year for the Balmore show, uh, Cackle? Sure, I worked all night and then I went to the show and followed them with two drinks. The lessons, the lessons you learn on the road watching how other men did, that was impressive, like, but like, if you'd asked me back then how the game would change, would we be looking at the pace of harvesters, the horsepower of harvesters, the the size of the rakes, the size of the holly streets, like, look at this here, like, there's two cued, two buck raking, and another four on the road there, uh, it's colossal what grass contractors could move now. Colossal. And there, Courtney pulled her down her rev. Oh, stop coming out. I'd love to see a class in that road. I'd say a class would go well in that. Class probably go well in that road. There's no lumps on, you know. It's dry, you know, but they don't have a lump and should probably fuck a blower free. <laughs> Rains at work. Had us all over the country, like, you got to see plenty. And that's the one thing I definitely would recommend to anybody. You're young, no commitments, free to travel, free to stay anywhere it sits. Um, take advantage of that and go and see things and experience things. We know night out the night, Glenn, by the big night out, they are out with not. You didn't know you're recording, are you, do you? <laughs> That's the young man's equivalent to what I'm in. The man said to me a minute or two ago there, he says, uh, I think about the choice, I would go for a 7.5. I says, did you ever drive a 7.8.10? No. He says, well, how would you do that? There's the case calling the hay, case calling the hay, man. Cash call, good cash call. Or my phone room. Hello, this is John Cairns here with the cash call. Oh my god. Did all you spice answer that like a cash call? Yeah, I answered it three times. Then four entered it twenty times. <laughs> I'm completely devastated here, Bounce. You did answer it twenty times, didn't you? I think a blame's cost me a hundred pound a month. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the yoke uh, over the bridge, no? Where's that? South. Okay, it was close. Is that down the big hill it's laying? No. Geld. Look there, tank corner, look there, Brett. Linkage. That's a brand new linkage corner, Yeah, brand new. The linkage in the girl yard makes her like. Oh, I see it. We're out of that there. Yeah, they're around Bales and that. 
Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Seeing them good level roads, I'd love to see a class on that there, a class of some hopes there. Like. Class have more hopes than that, you'll break. I feel there's way that guy mind calling the Hamilton to start taking the hob out here. It's not dear the dog ball, yeah. See, she's still spitting. There must be a stone at the liner or something. What do you say? She's still spitting. I'm going to have a nice stone at the liner. I'm going to have a strong eye belt right turn the spout around the hallway, you know? You're not turning the spout around the hallway. <laughs> First day out with any crew. First contract team I've seen this year. Well, the choice of traffic. You'd have thought the roads would have been empty. What happened to the empty roads? I first met Porters back in 2003. And you know, a change is as good as the rest. I, I really, really enjoyed my time at Porters. I remember drawing this job years ago, I fell in love with it. Because it's just that sweet spot where you get a bit of road work in top gear, cruising along, nice smooth tar, because this is about two miles from the airport, they look after the roads beside the airport. So no drone footage tonight. And you're just getting her nicely lit, and it's time to turn around to the pit. Back in 2003, they were running two harvesters and not everybody was running two harvesters back then you know a lot of guys do now because it's become so such a short window that, that that period of time where uh if anything goes wrong and you've got to keep moving you've got to have a second harvester so back in the day porters and two harvesters two crews i was pulling a 16 ton cane classic there wasn't many of them ever built and if anybody has ever work for one, you'll know that they were very, very swingy. Uh, the first 16 and a half pipe that I pulled was a lot steadier. And I know since then, I mean, the early versions came hang on seven leaf springs, the new versions are in 10 leaf springs. The old 16 classic I was pulling, you handled her with respect. I remember I had come off the back of pulling 12 ton freezers. And you could have been halfway into the yard, hit the tip and lever, Still have been coming out of the yard, swung on the curve, back her in, still been tipping her up, set her where you wanted her. But then in a few seconds, half the load's coming out of her, and away you go, and the trailer's still coming down. A while later, that was my experience of uh, 12 ton freezers. But the first time I went <laughs> the porters, someone GY shaped the, the tipper like this to see where I was going. And they sort of half laughed at me, like, hey, don't be that. You don't tap that thing until you have her where you want her.
super flex. There's some tune there. I'm a flex, flex, super flex. I'm a flex, flex, super flex. Love a yard where you can get the shitter keep dropping and no wires hanging. Part of the routine, first thing you do, check if there are any wires in the way in because you don't want to take them out. So, swingy 16s, I think there was three of those in the, the quarter fleet at that time, five 14 tons. The two harvesters were a 900 and an 890, both the good old boxy panels at the back end, they weren't the Speedstar. I think the, the new Speedstar back end arrived the second or third season. Gaggle. Well, the two of us tipping the side of one really and I am, boys. Yeah, I get up with that side, do I? Yeah, I doubt it. 900 back in the day, like, they were the weapon. They were the king of the hill. They were what class built their reputation on. In my opinion, uh, simple, reliable, easy to maintain, does what it says in the tent, chucks it up the spout. Uh, you couldn't ask for any more from a harvester. Best of dealing with the lumps as well at that time. It wasn't, you know, John Deere's pickup at that time. It wasn't anything to write home about. Full fleet of New Hollands. All TMs. The flagship was a TM 190. Uh, legendary bus. Um, slightly notorious. I don't know if you want to own one second hand. But uh, she was a rod back in the day. There was a big trouble set of boards on her. Uh, and Davy had a Mark II Big M as well. So, yeah, it was happy, happy memories. Uh, this is one of the gigs with those happy memories. <laughs> Ah, it's good to be out of the office. Love and life. Hey, more about your Kia Taylor's around here and I've videoed and all on you. One thing I do remember about the Kians was the brakes on them were that sharp that the trailer was light enough that if you were aggressive and you're braking, you know, if someone met something and you had to stop. You know, you had no choice. The back wheels of the jitter were all locking up and you were just leaving this big, mad, white, black print on the, the tar. You could always tell where the Zeddy's crew had been because you could leave these black rubber marks. I still remember my first day out, actually, on the, the 16th. It was the first time I'd ever seen a steering axle. And you do some watching in the mirrors the first time you're going to get into this thing float and you're like, watching like a hog, you know. I'm trying to judge how much of a compensation you have to stay away from this post that you're turning away that the tail swing won't click it. You know, I'm sure it's a lot worse in the 18s now than the 16s were. Uh, they weren't really that bad to watch. Once you get onto them, you never wanted to pull another 14 in your life. But, uh, yeah, I, the first day actually I was in one of those. Uh, she had new tires and they were oversized and they were just filling the arch filling the chassis you know and if you the, some of the little bits of metal actually had to be ground down just to make them fit so anyway there's a wee bit sticking out a little vertical slice and uh, every time you were going into a corner with these new tires on and the trailer just leaned over you looked in the mirror and you could see puffs of reek coming out the, the side of her it was just like and this was all my first day and I was just uh, it took me a minute to sell because I was also my first day in the TM and the TM had the cab suspension so she would have leaned in the corners the same way the trailer leaned in the corners and if you actually looked in the mirrors too much you would have made yourself scared. Uh -huh.
back with my old firm uh, Porter Contracts guys I hope you enjoyed it there's a full episode uh, it was one of the first days out of the city's crew after this whole pandemic kicked off which meant I did the whole dialed cabs thing which is strange and awkward but but it but it worked but ultimately it meant that all the input from uh, Mark from the cab is in that episode so if you actually want to see what it's like for Mark in the 99 and here is update on on Porters you got to go to the main website take a trial Watch the full episode entirely for free if you have not yet taken that trial. Cracking episode, good episode. What was it like to be back though? It's good, it's good. I, I not seven, eight, like. I know, but was it crack the same? Do you know the way sometimes you go back and you relive a moment in your youth and then it's never the same, you're like, oh, really? You know? So, so <clears throat> I really wanted to do that particular job because yes. one, it was close to home, yes. and two, it's really, really smooth, tar smooth, feels good, lanes. Yes. It's a pleasure to do that that particular job. It's not one of these awkward places. But your 78 doesn't bounce anymore. No well, way you got no way you get rid of the a one. A good job's a good job, lad. Aye. But the big thing is, I was always a John Deere man. They were New Hall men, and now they're John Deere man. That was the biggest change. I guess the only thing it would have made it more crack was if some of the old hands had been there. I didn't really know the boys yeah. to have the crack. My yeah. CB couldn't dial into their CB, so it was all picture no sound. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Me yeah. monologuing away to myself. <laughs> Watching people drink Red Bull on the way past. That's a new tin of Red Bull. That's another <laughs> new tin. That's yes. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it was a bit of fun. Um, Get yeah. over on the site. Watch the full episode. It's a smashing episode. John will stick on a button or a link or whatever. You can click on it and I'll send you straight over. Take the free trial, as John says, and have a watch. Premium content. The best content out there. If you're loving YouTube and you're just loving what we do here, don't forget guys, YouTube is brought to you, Farmflex YouTube is brought to you by Farmflex. And that means that the members that are, have joined us are the guys that are funding it. I mean, it's what makes things happen. It's how we brought on the pull on to the, into the four was Farmflex members made that happen. So guys, even if you're just loving this YouTube channel, go and support us on Farmflex, at least take a trial. And uh, look, we love to make things happen. We can't do it without you. So 24th of January is your deadline day. You cannot join Farmflex after the 24th of January. You can't even take a trial. So it'll be next Christmas. Get on and get it done, guys. You'll not be disappointed. <laughs>